Okay, just going to show you a little project I'm doing so that I can attempt to film the eclipse tomorrow. I bought this special Astro Solar Safety Film. The brand is Bader, as you can see there. Price is £18 and then it's three quid for postage from the place I've bought it. So £21 for one sheet of A4 of this stuff. It's blooming expensive. And here's the website to go to, firstlightoptics.com and then you can just search for Beta in their search box and you'll find this product. As I said, £21 for one A4 sheet. Okay, It comes in a stiff brown envelope. The film looks like this. It's got one sheet of kind of like tracing paper on, on one side and it looks like this. It's just um, looks like tin foil but it's kind of a plasticky material. It doesn't rustle like um, tin foil so it's some kind of plasticky material like that and then it also comes with a um, I don't know if you can see that there's a there's also a if I move it like that there's a plastic cover on the other side you have to take off as well so and it, all you get is one one sheet of A4 like that 21 pounds if I put a ruler over it to give you an idea of scale okay so it's about 20 centimeters wide and roughly 29 centimeters high. Okay, so <laughs> blooming expensive stuff. And with this, let me just cover this up carefully, keep it in good condition for what the project. Don't try not to get fingerprints all over it. Right, let me move this out of the way. And then this comes included in that envelope. There's a little piece of paper with some information about it. Basically, this this material cuts out 99.9% .9 of sunlight so people use this material to um, put it over the end of telescopes so that they can view the sun without damaging their eyes or you can also damage your equipment don't just point a telescope or camcorder or camera at the sun you'll damage the optics of that so you have to use a material like this and then what's brilliant is they include some instructions on how to make your own solar filter. They show it on how to um, make one to fit over the end of a telescope, but I'm going to attempt to put it over the end of a camcorder. And uh, you hold on two seconds, I'll go and get another camcorder. I can't, because I'm using this one, I have to get another camcorder. Hold on. Right. Okay, this is not the camcorder I'm using for the project, obviously. This is my old camcorder, but it's very similar. Basically, the problem with the camcorder is you've got virtually nothing to attach the cardboard that they're telling you around the outside. You've got about five millimeters there, possibly seven if you don't. Yeah, I'm going to cut seven seven millimeters there, so I've got virtually nothing. Fortunately, my old camcorder is different to my other one. I've got a complete circle on my new camcorder, so I can put a piece of cardboard around it. But anyway, I'm I'm going to attempt to put some of this material over the front of the camcorder so uh, and I've already tested this I put the sheet of this material over the window and then filmed with the camcorder through there and it really does you can see the Sun really well but without being blinded by it so uh, anyway I'll just quickly film this so you can see what you do so you're gonna need it tells you what you're gonna need that's all the stuff you're gonna need so as for, for white cardboard I just found um, <laughs> Where did this come from? You know, sometimes you get cardboard in, in the back of sheets and materials like that. This is just off the back of something from John Lewis. Bed linen. Okay. So anyway, anyway whatever, wherever you can get some cardboard. Uh, but solid, fairly solid, you know, strong stuff. And then put your camcorder or whatever you're using, your telescope down. Draw a circle around it. That, that circle you're going to cut out and throw away. Then draw a bigger circle around it so that you've got room for the material, the uh, Beta Astro Solar material, you're just going to cut a square that's going to go around there. And then also you're going to need to cut thin strips. Uh, I've cut them, I've measured those out. They're about 7mm thick, those lines there. If I just show you the, um, the ruler, give you an idea. Okay. And then they're the bits that will be wrapped around your camcorder 
Okay, so you're going to need at least two or three bits of cardboard. Have a ruler, it's always useful to have a ruler. If you've got a compass to draw the circle and a pencil, do that. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need some double sided sticky tape. This is blooming expensive stuff I bought to use on um, a camera trap to attach a sensor. So this, this stuff was about £35 for this roll. I can't remember how many metres this roll is. It might be 30 metres, it might be 50 metres, but anyway, that was about 35 quid for that. Anyway, double sided sticky tape you're going to need. Right, so let's get back to this. That, that tells you what you're going to need. Oh yeah, Kleenex tissue. Well, um, just any old brand of tissues, you're going to need that. There you go. You know what I'm talking about. Tissue like that. Get Have a couple just in case. And you're going to need some normal um, sellotape. Okay. So, there's all the tools you're going to need. Tissue. Right, and then follow the instructions they give you when you buy this Beta Astro Solar Safety Film. The basic principle, they, at least they show you photos for most of the steps, not all the steps. Okay, that's them putting the double-sided sticky tape onto the rings you cut out. That's them showing you when you cut a square material, it's got to fit over the entire camcorder. You don't want any light getting through. Don't be cheap, you know. Make sure you give yourself a, a margin for error. So make a, um, a square that's got at least, I'd say, a centimetre or two extra all the way around the camcorder. And uh, follow these instructions. Oops, sorry, I've got a bit of light on there. Pause the video to read this. Anyway, you'll get this if you buy the paper. Uh, according to them, there's nine steps to doing this. Once you've got all your materials together, I don't know how long it's going to take because I'm having to keep finding bits and pieces all over the place. You know, like <laughs> most people don't have their sellotape and pens and pencils in exactly the same drawer, so you have to find everything you're doing. But at least they've got photos showing you what to do. And then here's the bit where you stick some um, cardboard around the outside of your telescope or your camcorder or camera or whatever. Okay. And then basic principle, they're saying use glue to stick um, the film ring to the part that goes around your telescope or camera. I'm, I'm not going to use glue, I'm going to use sellotape. Okay. And then basically you just slot it over the front of your equipment and then you can try and film the sun. So it doesn't just have to be for an eclipse, you can film the sun any day, you can see it if there's no cloud. And then they also give you one other sheet, which is just the instructions without pictures. Um, I'll just quickly film it for you, so you know what you're getting. Okay. And then they give you some information about don't ever look at the sun, etc. Okay. And then there's all this information on the back. Instructions for use. Again, pause the video to read this if you want. Okay, so one last time I'll show you where to get it from. This is the material you want. Beta Astro Solar Safety Film. A sheet that's A4 size, like I said, is £18 plus 3 quid for postage. Or you can get more, as you see there. And the place to buy it from is First Light Objects. I looked on other shops, I looked on Amazon first, and they're selling stuff like this at rip-off prices. eBay is even worse, and it comes from Israel, um, and it takes about three three weeks to arrive. So make sure you, if you buy something like this, make sure it's UK stock, and make sure it's at a, as cheap a price as you can get it. I mean, to me, £21 for one sheet. Oh, that's just my screensaver, can you? Uh, £21 seems like a lot of money, but um, if it allows you to photograph the sun safely, then go for it. Anyway, this will be my first video. I might make a second video just to show you what the end product looks like, but for now I need to get to work. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye.